Hey you, welcome back. Today we are looking at five most common electrical problems that can leave you stranded, or even make you late to that important occasion. But by knowing the signs that can hint the issue before it happens, can save you time and money. Let's get into these five common electrical issues and how to solve them. Issue number one is a dead battery. One of the most common signs of a dead battery is when your car struggles to crank. You turn the key or press that bush button, but your car doesn't start. Instead the dashboard lights dim or shut off and the starter only produces a cranking or clicking sound. Other signs of a dead battery include Long cranking times Dim headlights Power windows operating slowly And difficulty starting in cold weather Issue number two is a faulty alternator. Before we proceed, let's understand the alternator. It's the key component that generates power for all your car's electrical systems, including the lights, radio, and ignition. The alternator consists of several major parts, namely, rotor and stator, voltage regulator, diode assembly, pulley, and the main housing. Many drivers confuse a faulty alternator with a dead battery. A simple test involves disconnecting the positive terminal of the battery while the engine is running. If the engine dies, the alternator isn't functioning properly, get that? A whining sound while the engine runs could also mean the alternator is failing but not always. To test the alternator, connect the multimeter's positive lead to the battery's positive terminal and the negative lead to the negative terminal. A healthy alternator should produce a reading between 13.8 and 14.2 volts when the engine is running. Other signs include Battery warning light on the dashboard Dimming or flickering lights And electrical accessories shutting off Issue number 3 are blown fuses Fuses are protective components that safeguard your car's electrical systems from damage. You can find them in various locations, such as under the dashboard, in the engine bay and in rare circumstances at the trunk. Blown fuses often lead to specific systems malfunctioning, like non-working lights, an inoperative radio, or power windows that won't operate. To test a fuse is a very simple step which anyone with the right tools can perform. Attach one clip of a test light or multimeter to a ground and use the other to touch the fuse tips. If the multimeter shows zero resistance, the fuse is functional. If not, it's time to replace it. For a test light, the light turns on from both tips of the tester. If only one tip turns the tester on, the fuse is blown and should be replaced. Issue number four are wiring issues. Wiring issues can be challenging to track down, but they're often the main cause of intermittent electrical problems. A common culprit is a short circuit, which happens when current flows through an unintended path. Here's how to test for short circuits. Method 1. Using a multimeter. Set your multimeter to the continuity or resistance mode. Disconnect the negative battery terminal to avoid damaging the electrical system. Place one probe on the positive terminal of the circuit and the other on a known ground. Result, if the multimeter beeps or shows a low resistance reading, you likely have a short circuit. Method 2. Check in with a test light. Connect the test light to the battery's positive terminal. Probe the suspected circuit. If the light turns on when it shouldn't, there's a short. To trace the circuit diagram, refer to the vehicle's wiring diagram to identify all components in the circuit. Test each segment systematically to locate the short. Look for visible signs too, like burned wires, melted insulation, or scorched connectors. Other common wiring problems include corroded connectors, loose grounds, and broken wires that can prevent the car from starting altogether. Lastly on issue number 5 is a faulty starter motor. The starter motor is located near the engine and connects to the flywheel to start the car. To test, check for continuity between the terminals. No continuity indicates a faulty starter. The relay should click when activated, if not, it may need replacement. The starter has several components, including the solenoid and brushes, which can wear out over time. 
Signs of a bad starter motor. Clicking sound when turning the key. Engine not cranking. Smoke from the engine bay. These five electrical issues are among the most common in cars. Knowing how to identify and address them can keep your vehicle running smoothly. Subscribe for more practical car advice and share your questions in the comments below.